Here we are. The more I create, the less I consume. What's up, Erica? So this is such a uh, this is such an interesting um, statement. I just, I just thought thought about it. The more I create, the less I consume. The way I was thinking about it just a second ago was in relation to social media, and the more I'm creating and documenting and posting and documenting and creating and posting and documenting, creating and posting, the less time the less I'm consuming social media. It's so funny, like. I just don't scroll, just randomly scroll through, you know, Facebook and Instagram as much anymore because I'm constantly posting on Facebook and Instagram. Um, but I started to think about it, and and that's 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 life, right? That that's that's one of the keys to success. Period. Is the more you create, the less you consume. So kind of feeling that energy, realizing where other people are, putting yourself out there is the start of kind of almost consuming what you want to create. Now when you're ready to create, what is it men should create? What do we create? Yeah. To me, it's, it's creating the life, it's creating a lifestyle. And, and for me, that lifestyle is just about doing what you want to do when you want to do it and on your terms. And that, that for some people like that, and that for even within myself, that means sometimes 16 hour days of work. And then I know there'll be different periods in my life where that will mean no work or minimal work. But that being on my terms, you know, mm -hmm. like creating a life lifestyle that I'm in charge of. Like the busier I am working, life, everything, the less I'm consuming, the more I'm creating, meaning the more I'm generating like income, the more I'm producing, the less I'm buying, the less I'm, cause you just don't have time, right? And that, that's, that is the key. That is the key. <laughs> Erica just said, you're right. See you later. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. That's, you know, Gary V talks about that all the time. Like on his daily V, he's like, my goal is for you to stop watching me. It's like, my goal is for you to stop watching me, for you to take what I've said and go and do. And that's exactly it. So the more you create, the less you should consume. Like the, the toughest question you could ever ask yourself and ever have to answer is what do you want? Yeah. What do you want? And I'll, and I'll take you through a quick scenario. Most people quick know, scenario. The, know yeah. the answer to Well, and they'll, and they'll use phrases that, that aren't real life. So they'll say, I want to be financially free. Got it. What does that look like? What does that mean for you? Um, that means that I'm no longer controlled by debt. Cool. We're getting we're getting closer. So what does no longer being controlled by debt look like? What does that allow you to do? Well, if I don't have any, if I don't have the debt anymore, then that means that I can, you know, be more free with my time. Awesome. That's another good thing. So, what are you doing with that time that you're now free with? And then you, when you finally go down this rabbit hole of why, but why? So what does that mean? So what does that mean? So what does that look like? And then all of a sudden you get to that lifestyle. You're like, I want to be able to pick up my kids from school every day while making a decent living and taking six weeks of vacations every year and visiting my parents that live in North Carolina every other weekend. Like when you get specific to like what you actually want, like by the detail, it's like, oh, it's because you said financially free and I have no idea what that means. Yeah. But you really, that's the life you want. It's almost like the, the pre-programmed answers we've given ourselves. Yeah. And only when we kind of challenge ourselves to ask, but why, but why, mm -hmm. six, seven times is when we run out of those prescribed answers and then we actually have to tap in deeper and think to ourselves, oh yeah, well, so why do I really want that? Yeah. And most people don't get to that level. They don't peel the onion back that way. That's much. a tough thing to do by yourself. Like I didn't, I didn't realize that until I went through that process with a coach and it was 11 hours into the day <laughs> of him asking me why. Yeah. And finally on the 11th hour, he was like, got it. 11 hours, cool. Now we can actually start. Talking to <laughs> but once uh, you get there, then you are truly creating and not consuming.